Alright, so this is a short little video about the um, GT Omega ART that we've been using for about a year now. It'll be about, it'll be a year in a month, so we'll call it a year's review after after having it. So, to start off, we have made some couple of modifications, like before this is, before we ran this, it was just a normal GT Omega, but now we've got the support bars that we got for them. We've even made a little insert here. We cut this and made uh, drill holes through, through the side. So this is actually what was before the, the extension bar for over here, the, the longer one, because we actually put the shorter one in. And we use this now for like, as an extra support. So if I go like that, it's, it's not moving from side to side. That's also mirrored on this side too. Um, the rig itself is very sturdy. On top of the rig is the Logitech G Pro Series that they have been out for two years now and recently just released new equipment for. Made another video on that, you can go check that out. And uh, still have the old uh, driving force shifter because they did release new products like the sequential shifter with handbrake added in. And we were really looking forward to like having an actual Pro H pattern, which they have not come out with. So we'll be waiting for that. So that's why this adapter is still here. But other than that, that's pretty good what we've done so far for it. Uh, for the seat, it is a G it is a G2 Mega RS9 with the red stitching. We've got some uh, Pennzoil seat cushions, head cushion, back and back and lumbar and bottom cushions just to prevent wear on the uh, overall seat and also these are a bit more comfortable because the back the lumbar support on this chair is really hard from stock if you just sit in it the way it is it'll probably wear itself in but that's the way it is D2 Mega embroidered on the back beautiful looking there and yeah there isn't really what we've done there isn't really any flex left in the cart the only time you really feel something move is actually when the front will lift sometimes, like say if you're like cornering hard enough, but like you, it's a very rare occasion, it almost never happens. So, but other than that, it's very good. Little power switch box on my side for other equipment, we will talk about that though. Um, what we've done actually down here for the pedal is we've made a little like uh, support for the pedal because under my brake load, which is what I use, is about 45 kilograms of force. I'm not going to go into translation for pounds, but um, 45 kilograms in the base, and it was actually starting to bend this frame a bit. So we went and made like a little insert here for it. It's just a plastic uh, like pool ladder insert that's we've done over in black cardboard to make it match the rest of the rig. Power brick is underneath here. With it shouldn't really get too hot, but if it does get hot, we do have like a little portable fan to cool it down after a while. Uh, pedals obviously, they're from the Pro Series, and just a little power bar for, uh, for uh, the whole rig here, so we're not burning 300 watts continuously. But other than that, that's what we've been using for just about a year now. And yeah, my Gran Turismo uh, poster, I got that for Christmas, I think, a year ago. Okay. So, yeah, and just want to say thanks for watching, and yeah, I'm good.